Hey guys, today we're going to be unboxing my PR packages and see what free makeup, skincare, hair care or whatever items I get. This is the biggest package that I have and it is from Style Nanda and these are all the 3CE makeup products. I already have it open because the box is just way too big and they are all very well wrapped but I'm just going to pull out all the stuff first because this box is just too big. This was shipped from Korea, Style Nanda, so that's why there was so much bubble wrap. There's only just two items here. So the first up, this thing over here is just this nice bag. And it's like the spring line, which is why it's all this kind of color, this rosy mauve tone. And I'm pretty sure that this was the missing half to whatever I was supposed to get. Which is probably not in this video, it's probably in another unboxing video. So first up, this bag is adorable. I've never seen something from them like this before but I also do not know what I will use this for next time. <laughs> okay, let's see. So first up, we have a mask over here and I've already gotten two boxes of masks from them but it's a different one. This one is the Mystery Water Mask. Evidently, this is the colour theme that they are going for and I do not know what's the function of this mask but it does have the word water in it so it's probably just like a hydrating mask. Next up, we have another skincare product and this one is the 3CE Style Nanda Facial Cleansing Oil. I've never seen any facial cleansing oil from them before. I've used skincare, uh, well, kind of like skincare, more like primer. It's probably the closest I have to skincare for them. Uh, and I have never seen them come out with a cleansing oil. So this is how the packaging looks like. It's very pretty. I've actually already opened it so you can see that my sticker is like a little bit loose. I like the packaging because it comes with a pump but I do not know if I will end up using this. If not, I'll probably pass this on to my friend because I think she uses oils like this to cleanse off her makeup. Now this one over here is makeup and I've used their uh, foundation before this is an entire set entire line it's this like very nice rubbery kind of packaging and then you just pull it open and these are all the different foundation shades oh i'm really excited that it also comes with this brush which i've seen it in pictures but i wasn't sure if i was going to get it so over here you can kind of see this is like the brief introduction to the makeup line this is the 3CE Velvet Fit Foundation. Why is it 3 feet? Because the first fit is perfectly matching to your own skin. Fit 2 is a variety of 7 colours. So yeah, not very inclusive. But you know, this is Korea. This is considered inclusive for Korea. Oh, I can pull this out. Wonderful. And then the fit 3 is that it is a smudge proof kind of foundation for your everyday makeup. Which is essential for me because of the country that I live in. And these are all glass bottles oh wonderful oh i almost just like pulled this out i was so worried that it's going to be like those twist off kind of packaging because i really don't like that but it comes with a palm which is awesome it also does a very satisfying close so definitely sturdy packaging let's see what shades we have over here we are going from this way until the darkest shade and this is the lightest one this is the darkest you can see shade comparison. You can also use like the darker shade for bronzer, like liquid bronzer, but it's not super dark. The names for this are Fair and then this one is Deep Beige. You can also just like mix and match and customize your own kind of shade. So later I'll swatch them, but let's just look at this brush first. It comes in a very nice packaging like this and this is called the 3CE Multi Face Brush. So let's feel it because you're supposed to use this brush with foundation and I never really enjoy those kind of things but since this is like specially tailored to it hopefully it is good at buffing it out wow it's definitely one of those where once you get it out you can never put it back it's very short and stout <laughs> like a little teapot oh actually pretty dense it does not look that dense but it's not bad it's quite dense like you'll buff it out and it's very soft it doesn't feel scratchy so I'm quite excited to wash this and then start using it as I pump them out, I realized that these are way more watery than I expected, which is actually good because I'm trying to get into more light coverage foundation. Never thought that I would actually say that because I used to just be like high coverage. So I'm going in order. Um, it's the way that they came in, so I'm assuming that that is the order. Kind of looks right. Some of it looks more pink if you are more like a pink tone or if you are more yellow tone. 
I used to be very yellow toned, so I definitely would have gone for this. But now, I don't know, I think I'm shifting more towards neutral. So the first shade over here is called Fair. Second shade we have, this one is Warm Ivory. Ah, the third shade is the more pinkish one. This is Pure Ivory. Fourth shade over here is actually a nice name. It's called Soft Nude. Now we get into the a little bit darker tones. This is just called Beige. Second last over here, this one is called Natural Medium. And the last one that we have over here is Deep Beige. It has been about 15 minutes. I went to the storeroom and, you know, just did stuffs. And I kind of spread it out a little bit. <laughs> this poor guy got caught on this side of the box. So I'll clean that off, which is why you can see that it doesn't have much color. But the rest, you can see a lot of the color. Uh, and I just wanted to wait and see if they oxidize and change in a color. Wow, I just said that word way too many times. So this is how it looks like in case you are wondering uh, what shade would suit you if you are looking to get this. In real life, I definitely can see the difference in the shade range. And it's unlike those other Korean companies, there are some that they give you like shade range, but the colors are actually the same. So this one, you can see that each color does differ from the other color one step up. Next up, let's do an easy one because it is inside a bag. This is from Puka, Puka Tea, which my husband and I drink every single day. <laughs> so this one is inside a bag because they have a new line this time round. And this new line, if I'm not wrong, is ginger. So I'm just going to take out all of it. Their tea always has such nice packaging. So this is actually, oh my gosh, it will not come out. This is one of the two packages that came this time round. And they sent something else that makes a jingling sound. <laughs> so we'll look at that later on. Let's see all of this here. Their tea always just looks so nice. Oh, this looks like chamomile to me. This one over here, which is out of frame. This one looks like chamomile to me. Let's see what is this. This is, oh yes, it's chamomile. My favorite tea from them is the just chamomile, pure chamomile tea. I finished that up so fast in a matter of probably just two weeks because it was just so calming and it tasted fresh. You know, like the chamomile flower tasted fresh to me and clean. This one is the chamomile vanilla and manuka honey. Oh, sounds so good. It has honey already in it. This one is organic, a blissful dip in a pool of calm. Mm, exactly what I like. So they all come, each box comes with 20. This one is caffeine free, obviously, because it has chamomile in it. Oh, I'm definitely going to start using this soon. Very excited for that. Let's see this one that's green that reminds me of matcha. But it's not. It is a ginger line. The lemongrass and ginger organic and uplifting lemony zing with a gingery rush. And this one is also caffeine free. So I know that my mother-in-law loves like ginger in general. So I think she will like ginger tea. She likes ginger. She likes tea. She likes, um, like I pass her some tea. Turmeric tea. Yeah, that was the one that I passed her. And then she told me that she finished it and she enjoyed it. So she likes those kind of flavors. So I'm pretty sure that she liked lemongrass too. So I, I'm definitely going to be passing this on to her. I'm just not a fan of ginger too, which is why I won't be keeping it for myself. Let's look at this one. Wow, I've never heard of this. This is peppermint and licorice. It's a sweet and deliciously refreshing thrill. So this one is also caffeine free which is even better because both my mother-in-law and I prefer caffeine-free tea and she likes peppermint tea like I just mentioned so she's going to enjoy this one. Let's see over here, these are obviously very ginger kind of colors. This one is lemon, ginger and manuka honey. Welcoming cup of, welcoming cup of spicy sweet bliss. Oh, I don't like, like spicy tea but I think she might enjoy this. And then this one over here is three ginger. <laughs> It's just going all out. Mm, I can't remember if the last one that I had was chamomile or, or three chamomile or something like that. A warming swirl of ginger, galangal, and golden turmeric. I have no idea what that is, but I know she enjoys turmeric. So not super my kind of line of tea, but I'm definitely very excited for this one right over here. This is the second parcel from Puka Tea and I've never gotten something like this from them. It's a different packaging. It's very nice. It has this jingling sound which makes me feel like it's probably fragile. And this is how it opens up. It's so pretty and it has this like little gem pearl thing here. What does it say? Oh, it just says thank you. And I will definitely be reusing this. I'm not sure what's inside but I will use this for like jewelry or something like that. It's just such a beautiful wicker basket. 
Okay, so first up, they have like probably TS, T information. They always have this kind of like little cuts here. And like this one is good because they tell you, for example, the peppermint and licorice will support digestion, soothe any digestive heat. And then the lemon, ginger and manuka honey will ease irritation if you have like cough or oh. Let's look at the chamomile one. Yeah, alleviate discomfort and nerves. Exactly the kind of tea that I like. So this one I can pass on to my uh, mother-in-law so she can see the information. They always just have like the prettiest cut. Like this is so nicely cut out. Okay, so next up. Oh, okay, that's why it was making a sound. The last time they had this collaboration, it was um, essential oils. And then the previous time they had granola. Yeah, so they always uh, just complement it with something very calming, self-care, soothing. This time they have this. I already have one that is a lot bigger and it has a heart shape reflecting. That one is actually a gift from my friend. This is so cute. It's so small and cute. So you just put like um, the essential oil here. I already have some, but I'm excited to see what else they enclosed. Oh, and they give you this already, which is awesome from Ikea. You know, it, it's just like a tea light. You just slip it inside here. And then if it's dark enough, it will reflect all this like flower. Yeah, flower prints onto your wall. Okay, so this is the first thing. Now let's see what else. What is this? I've never seen this. Maybe I just put it in like that. Oh, that's even better, right? Then I don't have to keep cleaning it out and I can easily change out the kind of oil smell I want by just washing one thing. This is freaking genius. I'm so excited for this part now because I don't have that part for my older one that I'm using. Okay, let's see. Glossy paper. So pretty. Another tea light candle here. There's two different scents inside here. Wow, I'm so excited for this basket because it's so pretty. Let's see the scent. So, oh, it's actually very nice packaging too. And I think it's like a collaboration from Puka and Artisan of Scents. Oh, I feel like they had a collaboration candle for this too. So it's like a squeezy one. You can adjust how much volume you want to take. Let's see. The two different scents that we have is, this one is Lemongrass Essential Oil. And then this one is the Honey Scented Ginger Essential Oil. Let's smell them. Oh, it's wonderful. They have the ingredient list right at the back. Like the one for the Honey Ginger. It is 100% pure ginger oil, honey scented. So then they tell you like the benefits. I love it when they put on all the benefits because I don't have to Google it to be able to reference it. It's balancing, clarifying, stabilizing. Sweet honey with hints of ginger. Well, probably like an afternoon kind of thing for me because the description kind of makes me feel that way. So this is how it looks like. Oh, wow. Oh, it smells really good. It smells more like um, sweet. More than, oh, wow, it's kicking in at the back. So it's like the first note you smell is the sweet scent because of the honey. And then after that, it hits you with the ginger. I really thought it would smell super spicy and I would not like it. Lemongrass is just 100% pure lemongrass oil. Let's see what's lemongrass for. Purifying, stimulating, cleansing. Mm. So it's just supposed to be lemon-like. Oh, oh, yeah, very lemon-like. Oh, I feel like I just like smell or like put up my nose in the Mama Ling Mong dishwash. <laughs> so this is when you want your house to feel very clean, I guess. This next package is from Q10 and I just sliced it up because I have no idea what I could possibly be getting from Q10 and surprisingly this one. Okay, let's pull the box away. It is this from Kundal and I have reviewed their shampoo, body wash, conditioner and I finished those already. They are waiting to be filmed in an, an, in an empties video but I haven't used their serum and the one that I chose for that was baby powder scent. Now, I chose Cherry Blossom Shampoo, but then uh, they just sent this instead. And this is just like the Nature Shampoo, and it's just Lemon Verbena. Let's first take out this one. It, what does it say? EWG Green. I have no idea what this is, but this one I was so excited to try the last time because it is Kundal, and it was like, well, you know, the ads suck me in. They tell you what one is so every three seconds in Korea, Korea number one on top. So I was very excited to try it. <laughs> and I think that it is a good shampoo. Uh, it's nothing to write home about, that's for sure. But if you want a shampoo, it is doing what a shampoo does. Doesn't dry out your hair, cleanses your scalp, foams up. 
just not like it's not going to transform your hair, you know, it's not going to leave your hair extra silky. Oh yeah, I'm not a fan of this scent. I mean, I'll still use it out because it's a shampoo or if someone needs a shampoo, I'll just pass it on to them. Lemon verbena just reminds me of like a cleansing tool scent. Like I will use this to wipe down this table. I won't use this in my hair. But who knows, maybe it'll be refreshing. <laughs> you see the bubble wrap, you know that this is another Korea package. And this package this time round is from Style Korean. Oh, okay, it comes in a very nice box. Style Korean had some special collaboration with this brand called Axis Y. I've heard about this brand but I've never tried it which is why I'm interested this time round. And this one is the Climate Inspired Skincare Solution. Cool, clean and effective. Make your skincare a special occasion. Their boxes just always look so good. Okay, this is how it looks like and it has this cut gel mask. Ooh, I like gel mask. What is this? Mark Ward. Oh, I've heard of that, but I've never really tried any skincare products specifically with like Mark Ward as the main ingredient. So this is the Mark Ward Paw Clarifying Wash Off Pack. Ooh. You know, I really just like any mask kind of things. So let's see this one over here. The first thing over here is the Mark Ward Paw Clarifying Wash Off Pack. 100 ml, 6 plus 1 plus 1 advanced formula. This is so awesome because as I was turning it around, I realized that they have it over here in English. The function is not just on the box. I hate it when it's just on the box. It has 61% Mark Ward Azuki bean powder and also kelp. Oh, sounds so good. <laughs> sounds very natural kind of ingredient and brand. Function, which is to gently exfoliate and cleanse pores. Yes, while soothing, healing and protecting stress and tired skin. Let's see, I think uh, it looks very like chunky. It's probably, oh yeah, I love it. I hate it when they have um, a scoop, which honestly I would not use if it doesn't fit right in my lid. So, so awesome. I will never lose it. Oh yeah, it's very chunky. Oh, okay. <laughs> As you can tell. Oh, it smells really good too. And it looks like red bean in like green tea pudding. <laughs> Nice, fits perfectly and I will definitely use this because I really enjoy wash off mask too. Ooh, next up, gel mask. This one is the new skin resolution gel mask. Okay, sounds so good already. Hard leaf, centella, 2% niacinamide. Sounds like it's going to be good for acne skin which is the kind of skin that I have. It immediately calms and brightens to alleviate irritated sensitive skin. Okay, let's see the packaging. Oh, okay, it's also green. I, can, I guess this is their kind of theme. Okay, I can hear it shaking. I'm thinking that it has its own scooper thing again, which is awesome. Let's see the consistency. Oh, it's like jelly. This is the consistency. And the funny thing is that it smells similar because it smells natural again. But it also kind of reminds me of my Cosrx Sika smell. Let's see the biggest thing that's left inside the box here. This one is the Dark Spot Correcting Glow Serum. Activated niacinamide helps correct dark spots and brighten skin with plant-derived squalene. I've heard of that ingredient, but I don't think I have any current skincare that has this ingredient to lock in moisture for glowing skin all day. So I've heard that people absolutely love niacinamide. It did not transform my skin like how people online say though. Oh, it's very nice packaging. Oh wow, this sounds interesting. You apply a small amount onto your face and neck. You can use it in the daytime too. And for PM applications, you can also use it as like a sleeping mask. Oh wow, I see the word papaya. My sister absolutely loves papaya bar soap because she finds that it helps her acne skin and also like fit marks. So I tried using that soap, but I don't like it because it just dries out. But you know, it has the word papaya here, so it's supposed to give you correct marks for clear, radiant skin and keep your skin glowing throughout the day. I've never seen a serum in this kind of packaging, so it's actually quite smart. Okay, next up we have some small things here. Let's look at, oh, such nice colors. This one over here. Packaging definitely should not matter, but these are really nice packaging colors. This one is the My Heart Leaf Moisturizing Cream. It's 20 ml and oh, I used to have something from 
another brand that it was like a I think it was a serum and it had like my heart leaf as the main ingredient but I gave that heart leaf serum to my sister so I've never tried anything with this it's supposed to hydrate and smooth right off the bat we can tell that this is a toner kind of bottle it's the daily purifying treatment toner 30 ml so it's supposed to be exfoliate and soothe and they are probably in the same line because they all have this like 6 plus 1 plus 1 kind of formula words on it. So I've never tried out this brand but I'm definitely very excited too. Today we have three packages. The first one is from Body Shop and I think I have some other skincare inside here. But let's just open this one first. It came in a Body Shop bag which is why this isn't sale and it is the easiest to open. So it just says the body shop rise up with self-love where we are told that we are not enough. Okay, so it's just all about self-love and being unstoppable basically. It's a very nice container and you just pull it apart like that. So it comes with a pamphlet, the self-love self bingo, self-love uprising. They always have a meaning behind their different campaigns and it always comes with like this kind of things and it always just smells like some kind of flower <laughs> okay let's look at this one first it says the body shop times the nail social so it looks like something like a gift card it's probably a nail salon the nail social is a socially conscious salon so it's in line with the body shop's kind of message and this is like a 50 dollars gift card that i can use or give to my mom Let's look at these things over here. They look like tin cans, very unique. Oh, they look like they look like tea tin cans. It says rise up with self-love. This is the love and unwind. So these are from the tea crafters and this scent over here of flavor, it's chamomile rose because the ingredients are chamomile and rose petals. Oh yeah, so you just uh, unscrew it like this and it opens up. I'm assuming yeah, it's loose leaf tea. I always drink tea every day and I like tea so this is definitely going to be used by me and this one is the Invigorate and Inspire so there is white tea and osmanthus inside let's take a look at this these are pretty good and I think you can even like peel off those stickers and then reuse these containers again so this one is how the other tea looks like these are all to go along with the skincare so the last product that we have over here which is actually from body shop itself and it's probably like a new line or new product i've never heard of this this one is the nika raguan coffee intense awakening mask i love a wash off mask it says that after you use this your skin will feel awakened and you can use it for 5 to 20 minutes and it's supposed to be 100% vegan forever against animal testing let's smell this it's very sturdy and heavy so there's probably like a lot of product or very chunky inside oh oh it smells delicious it smells like yeah you know coffee but not too sweet and not too sour bitter and it's like a very moussey easy to spread kind of texture to it this is one product that I definitely will put into my skincare rotation and take a picture with it once I have it on my face because I'm always rotating between mask and wash off mask or sheet mask. I'm sweating from opening this package. It was wrapped so well. I'm gonna assume that the company they use is Hai Shi Long. Well, this Hai Shi Long is hardcore. Okay, so this is from the brand Kobor, which is Ke Pei Er. It, uh, it's probably like a Chinese country. I think it's a Taiwanese brand because it says Yan Bu Nian Qing Tai Xing Lai Ke Pei Er. It sounds like Taiwanese brand. So I'm assuming they are eye masks. Let's take a look. Oh wow, there's more than eye masks. There's so many things inside. And it's in English, which is good. There's so much. I can definitely give away to other people or do a giveaway for you guys. Let's look at this one first and see if it's the same. So they look like they're the same thing, but like three boxes of it. So they are eye care, truffle and caviar multi-effect eye mask. Oh, it always makes me so happy whenever they give me extra so that I can give away to you guys. Let's see how many is inside. It says that it is 十片, but it also says that it is 五对, so like 5 sets. Alright, so this is how the box looks like. It's a very nice box and it's all very well sealed. So this is how it looks like inside. Oh wow, it's so pretty. It's actually quite thick though. It's also very good packaging. It sounds like food, right? I've never tried something like that. Uh, truffle and caviar inside my mask. I think I've tried maybe caviar, but definitely not truffle. So it's 
moisturizing. I'm basically translating from Chinese right now. It has collagen in it, supposed to improve your skin elasticity and moisture. So basically, an anti aging. <laughs> It's very well packed. Why is all this purple one? It's probably like a different line, which is why it's purple in color. So let's see. This one is the ah, English part. Flower Essence Repairing Cream. Oh, that's why it's like purple and with a flower on it. And this is the Flower Essence. Oh, same thing. These are supposed to be for nourish and repair wrinkles and tighten. So like anti-aging kind of deal again. It feels super heavy though. I know why it's flower ready because the ingredients is all like flower extracts. So it's supposed to help with like uh, dry skin, supposed to make your skin look soft and bouncy and smooth. Alright, let's look at the last one which is also inside the flower line. This feels very light. This is the Eye Rose Essential Oil Tight Pouch Fit Fine Lines. It sounds a little bit scary, like it's very runny around your eyes area because instead of an eye cream, it's an eye oil. So they tell you to take a couple drops and then you just rub it against your eye area. So this is going to be good for like if you have wrinkles or fine lines and just very dry eye area in overall. Let's look at today's last package. It's a smaller box and oh, this is from April Skin. So they had this campaign where you can choose uh, which line do you want. They have the yellow one, which is calendula, I think, and then one carrot one, which is the one that I chose. And one more line, which I have no memory of right now. So I chose this one because it says that um, the website was categorized based on like you could choose function. So I chose like function for anti-acne and they just recommended this line even though I was way more interested in the calendula line. I've never tried their skincare. I've only ever tried their makeup products. Like, oh, that cushion foundation is so good. So this one is from April Skin. Not sure if I mentioned it before. And I'm only supposed to get two products. So I'm assuming that I can give away one of these to you guys. Let's look at this one first. This one is the Real Carotene Blemish Clear Serum. Oh yeah, this is like one of the top sale in this carotene line. So I was very excited to try it, which is why I picked it, because it is my skin type. It is non-comodogenic, carrot complex and brightening. Okay, I've also seen reviews where people say like, oh, they've gone through like multiples of this. It's actually very light and it's a serum, so I thought it's more like a drop, like liquidy, but it looks more like creamy. Oh, I did not expect it to say this. It says brightening and wrinkle improvement. After using your toner, you just apply a suitable amount and spread over the entire face. I'll probably use this in the daytime too. I didn't think about the brightening or wrinkle part. I just thought it's going to be good for like blemishes. Next up, I'm pretty sure, yes, I chose this one along with that one because yeah, I just ranked it by whatever was highest sale. This one is the Real Carrot Acne Foam Cleanser, Blemish Clearing and Soothing Deep Cleanse. Oh man, I love any kind of like foamy cleansers and oh, it looks good super bright orange color. I've never tried anything with carrot nor heard that carrot is supposed to be good for acne so I'm excited, excited to try out carrot skincare. So I will test this line soon and see if it works well for my acne skin because carrot sounds like it's going to be uh, not drying too instead of using those traditional AC products.